Greetings YouTube, welcome back to the channel. I gotta tell you, I I love how this month has started out. I feel great about it. I feel optimistic. I feel inspired. And between the good this year and bad this year, if you miss my video, 2 million gold for free, plus tier 5 class Kala selector, depending on, I guess, your progression title, and uh, fully formed tier 3 alpha and tier 6 basic. That's extraordinary. But because this is a side quest, we have the Naughty or Nice store, which has essentially two titles. I'm not that guy in a red suit. <laughs> and I'm not that guy in a red suit as well. No. Different currencies, right? But at the same time, we also have Together for the Holidays. Defeat opponents in Alliance War, Alliance Quest, Battlegrounds, or Incursions to earn points for this event. And when you get into it, like so many things, defeating seven-star opponents in War, which, by the way, Alliance War, 280 points or 240 points. Compare that to Alliance Quest with 105 points and 90 points. Kabam is really trying to get people back into Alliance War with these point systems. Now, is that going to work on me? No. Uh, now, Battlegrounds, not Alliance War level points, but still pretty good. Incursions is my big question, and that is where I plan to do a lot of my heavy lifting in this event because of the Incursions event that's coming back, that bugged solo objective event. We shall see what happens there. Speaking of that, let's check out the rewards, huh? What if we, uh, if you do all that, what do you get? Well, less gold than the uh, other two things we talked about already. But it is... Everything is gold until Tier 2 Basic Alloy, okay? And then more gold. And then a Tier 3 Basic Alloy... More gold. Tier 2 class alloy fragment crystal. I get these every day from rank rewards, so that's like not the biggest of deals. I feel like for this event to be worth it, you got to have something really special at the end. And right now, it is all just relic stuff. All relic stuff. So I just praised Kabam, and rightfully so when it comes to the 2 million free gold. Now, this obviously is more gold. But I feel like if it's just relic materials on top of that, I'll claim them. I'm fine with it. But a little disappointed. The final one is a Tier 1 Alloy Selector. Which, again, cool. But... Really? Kabam is really trying to make you go back into Alliance War. But for this, eh, no thanks. Not going to be something that I jump into. I also did a video uh, during and then posted it after my broadcast last night regarding the changes to Alliance War. And Kabam hyped up the rewards to be a massive difference. And for so many people, they're just not. People ask me, Prof, how have you been able to do this for six years? Well, a huge part of that is, uh, until this year, I was not engaged while I was on YouTube. There was a good portion of the time where I wasn't really dating anyone besides YouTube, which is, trust me, a full-time commitment. Uh, so we have ourselves a really interesting start to the month. For people who need gold, this is still great. You know? You're know, you still getting gold back just from doing what you normally do, especially if you're a big Alliance War person. But... Uh, Wish you could get uh, something besides that. All right, let's go to the silver and gold one, which makes me think of that silver and gold song from the, uh, what, like 50s or 60s Rudolph? Crazy. All right, defeat gold pool, platinum pool, or champions that share a synergy with them, 100,000 points. Spin gold or defeat gold pool, platinum pool, or champions that share a synergy with them. If you spend gold to earn points, 
you'll get one. If you defeat Gold Pool, Platinum Pool, or champions that share a synergy with them, you'll get 100,000 points. Now, this has some good rewards. Starts off, obviously, with the smallest of crystal shards, almost like Deadpool is punking us. But it will add up quickly as you get millions of points very fast. And remember how I said that by the end of this, you should have something really worth chasing all of the milestones that wasn't present? Because a Tier 1 alloy selector is just, as the kids would say, mid. But you know what's not mid as we keep scrolling down and keep scrolling down? This, the six-star generic awakening gem, of which you uh, did not do a double take. That really is... What it says, this would be my 11th six-star generic awakening gem. At the bottom of otherwise the Winter Wonderland Crystal Shards calendar in all its glory. Wow. So, this month, this item is in the most random of spots. And it's the same month that they want us to do Alliance War more for way more points. So, I mean, I'm, I'm fine with it. It's an interesting choice and one that maybe even some people are going to miss as in they're not going to notice it, but we'll see. What do you think? Are you excited about this? Let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, have a great rest of your day.